welcome to Art Scene. Tonight we're on the Lower East Side on Christie Street. We're at the Hendershot Gallery to see a group show called Come and Get It. Come and Get It explores popular culture and consumerism through pop art. I'm excited to see this exhibition in person, so let's go check it out. Shot Gallery for the ex exhibition opening of Come and Get It, which was co-curated by Allison Krobeck, as well as myself, but uh, really this was Allison's baby. This show is up from February 10th to March 16th, and it includes nine contemporary artists, both local and international. And basically, all of their work references the consumer goods and pop culture. And to really bring that out, we redesigned the gallery space to almost mimic a retail setting. Just tell me a little bit about Retail Therapy. Retail Therapy is an event where we're teaming up with local designers and they will be bringing their product here and showcasing it on the gallery floor with the art. And the visitors will be able to walk around the gallery, look at their product among the art, and then also purchase their products here. Does the dialogue of your work reflect the commentary on consumerism? I think in my work, it started out being a show about my apartment in New York, where I lived for 20 years. And then I had a book printed, and then I have t-shirts printed up. So in that sense, uh, I'm selling some products around the show. Where are you from? Um, when did you come to New York, and how did you get started as a photographer? I left Sweden and came to New York and, and, and discovered this amazing city. And when I left Sweden, it was very, uh, I felt safe and clean and, and predictable, whereas New York was the complete opposite. And, and that's what I loved about New York. is my favorite piece of the show. It's by an artist named Daniel Lorenko. It's made out of lucite and it's laser etched. The detail and clean execution is very impressive. I was further drawn to the work when I learned the artist's story. The artist was born in New York and was in a really horrible car accident and lost all of his long-term memory. So he's incorporated his new life into his work and he's been traveling around the world, living in the moment, working on this art project which he calls the Holy K Movement, finding what he calls his disciples, which are people he identifies with and he's actually creating portraits for them, of them, in this form. Really interesting project and inspiring artist. That was a great show. James and Allison were such welcoming hosts, whether it was the flashy, glossy, dangerous gun in a purse or the dominating power of the big black American Express card on the wall. Each artist had their own take on consumerism and pop culture. I really enjoyed the show. I hope you did too, and join us next time on Art Scene.